Hi friends, I'm going to explain Microsoft Purview in quick 2 minutes video. Before we get into the Microsoft Purview, we should understand what is data governance. Data governance is a framework of rules, policies, processes, security and standards that ensures the data consistency, effectiveness and efficient use of information in enabling an organization to achieve its goals. So data breaches is a biggest issue for any organization. There are plenty of instances like in 2019, the United States had 1473 reported data breaches involving 164.68 million exposed records. In 2019, Facebook had 540 million user records exposed on the Amazon cloud server. Other card related biometric database which contains the personal data of the almost every citizen was exposed in a security breach. So these are a few instances. There are many other instances where billions of records were stolen. So every organization should have good control of the data, what they are storing, how they are saving, why they are saving and they should have some kind of classification of the data. So the data governance plays a key role to protect any personal data in these systems. So that is where we are saying that it's framework of rules, policies, processes, security and standards that ensures the data consistency. Moving on, these are the few tools like uh, as which falls under the data governance tool, sensitive data discovery, integrated data catalog, data quality assessment and maintenance, business glossary, a system of reward and attribution, data ownership and uh, stewardship, automated uh, data lineage, dynamic data masking. These are few tools which need to be supported by the data governance tools. So now you must have understood what is Azure Purview. Azure Purview is also the data governance tool which provides few of these features to protect your data. Whether it is sitting on your on-premises or on the cloud, whether it is on the AWS or Azure or GCP, this tries to have a centralized controlling mechanism to identify which is the sensitive data, what classification of data is being saved and how it has to be encrypted or protected. All these insights will be given by your Azure Data Purview. So you can have a single dashboard where you can monitor all your data and govern your data. So in a nutshell, this, is, this picture shows what exactly the data purview is. So Microsoft earlier named it as Azure Data Purview. Now it is renamed it as a Microsoft Purview. So it covers AWS, you see a few of the databases are being accessed from the Purview. Then Power BI tenants and uh, production environments on the cloud, pre-production environments, even your on-premises databases, everything works on the uh, Microsoft Purview. So that's in a nutshell. Thanks for watching my videos.